Hey everyone, this video is about the HP 12C, Hewlett Packard's longest and best selling calculator with over 15 million units sold. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the variants of the 12C that have been released over the 40 years the calculator's been on the market, because there have been at least 14 hardware revisions. And I can't show you them all, but I do have a representative sample of the main variants you're likely to come across. And it's interesting to understand the evolutions that have been made to the 12C product. Uh, which have helped it to keep it relevant over the decades. And we'll start on the top left with the original uh, Gold 12C. And this was released by HP in 1981 and cost $150 at the time, which is approximately $450 uh, modern dollars. And so at the time it was a serious state-of-the-art device for financial professionals. And in order to determine solutions to time value of money and cash flow problems, uh, the 12C uses the newton raphson method, and it employed a handcrafted strategy for generating initial guesses uh, that avoid situations that can lead to incorrect values. And these strategies were originally developed for the HP 92 desktop uh, calculator by William Carhan and Roy Martin, and there was significant improvement over previous financial calculators. And three key aspects that made the original 12C popular were its superb high contrast 10 digit LCD display, uh, its excellent keyboards, uh, one of the best of any calculator. It's difficult to overstate the importance of the confidence that the very tactile keys give uh, when entering financial calculations. And thirdly, its exceptional battery life uh, that can be measured in years. And uh, the original 12C is an RPN-only device, uh, so to calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, uh, you'd enter 2, uh, 3, and 4 on the stack, and then hit uh, multiply and plus. And the 12C uh, supports 20 storage registers, uh, so to store a number in one of the first 10 registers, uh, you can hit uh, the store key and a digit. Uh, or the store key and a dot and digit for registers 11 to 20. Uh, and it can support programs of up to 100 steps. And the original 12C, like HP's other Voyager calculators, use variants of the HP NUT processor, uh, the same processor that powered the HP 41C. And the HP NUT supported uh, 12 digits of internal precision. So, uh, so the original uh, 12C uh, can feel quite slow uh, for a modern user. Uh, so for example, uh, we can enter a simple cash flow calculation. So say if we have uh, an initial outgoing of $50,000. Uh, followed by uh, five payments of $12,000. Uh, we can hit the um, IRR button to calculate the internal rate of return. And this effectively calculates the profitability of our initial investment. And for this case, the original 12C uh, takes around uh, 10 seconds. And for other cash flow calculations, it can uh, take much longer. And interestingly, later revisions of the HP NUT used in the original 12C uh, could run faster than the original 1L F5 chip. Uh, but HP's market research found in the late 80s that users didn't trust the results obtained uh, too quickly. And so the CPU speed was never improved from the original 884 kHz. Uh, and if we uh, examine the back of this 12C, uh, we can see that uh, it takes uh, three LR44 1.5 uh, volt batteries. And the first four variants of the HP NUT uh, used in the 12C worked with uh, 4.5 volts of power. But in the late 90s, the CPU was changed uh, to a lower 3 volt chip. And so some variants of the original 12C take just one 3 volt CR2032, uh, but otherwise they're identical. And in 2003, HP brought out a new uh, platinum coloured version of the 12C with a silver backplate in parallel with the original uh, called the HP Platinum. 
The HP Platinum was designed to mimic the original 12C uh, while 16 ding its capabilities in various ways. And I'll refer to this model as the Platinum Silver uh, to distinguish it from the later uh, Platinum Black, uh, which had a black keyboard. And physically, the Platinum Silver was the same size and approximate weight as the original. And the model name uh, has now been uh, removed from the HP badge uh, in favour of being printed in lowercase on the right of the display. Uh, and the HP word mark uh, has been uh, removed from below the keyboard. And uh, personally, I prefer the more elegant design of the labels on the original. Uh, and the colour of the shift keys are slightly different. Uh, so the original uh, yellow or gold F shift key is now uh, orange, and there's also a slightly darker blue uh, for the G shift. And I find uh, the lack of contrast of the orange lettering on the silver background uh, can sometimes make the F shift functions difficult to read. Uh, and actually, even the blue labels are slightly less readable. Uh, and the numbers on the LCD are taller than the original, uh, but the display is not as high contrast, so uh, they're actually not necessarily easier to read. The Platinum Silver had a faster uh, MOS 6502 compatible processor with a new native firmware uh, that runs approximately six times the speed of the original. Uh, so if I run uh, the same cash flow calculation, uh, you can see it takes about 1.5 seconds, approximately six times faster than the original 12C. And internally, the Platinum Silver supports values in 15 uh, digits of precision for financial calculations, three more than the original 12C. It supports four times more memory registers and program steps. Uh, but the biggest functional change uh, in the Platinum was support for an optional algebraic mode. Uh, and so if I uh, switch to this, uh, I can uh, enter in expressions in fix style. So uh, 2 plus 3 times 4 equals. Uh, but in algebraic mode, the 12C evaluates the expression after each step uh, and doesn't support order of operation. So the answer 20 here may or may not be uh, what you expect. And uh, if we switch back to... RPN. Uh, there's also a slight change in behavior from the original 12C in terms of the interpretation of the change sign key. Uh, so if I type uh, 5 enter uh, change sign and then 2 uh, plus on the original, uh, the change sign uh, got applied to the 5 and the result is a negative 3. Uh, where it is on the Platinum Silver, uh, the two uh, is uh, the change uh, sign gets ignored uh, and uh, the result is seven. And I'll include a link uh, to a document that talks about the different flavors of RPN that have been implemented in HP calculators over the years. Uh, and I have the second variant of the Platinum Silver here. Uh, that was released after the 25th anniversary edition of the 12C. Uh, the first variant, codenamed the Platinum Bondi, uh, didn't include uh, keys for uh, parentheses, uh, which made using algebraic modes quite challenging. Uh, but this version has parentheses, uh, undo, uh, and also uh, backspace keys. Uh, and parentheses obviously uh, don't serve any function in RPN mode, uh, but the undo fun uh, function is also quite limited, only applicable after hitting the clear key. Uh, but backspace key is quite useful for correcting errors uh, in uh, number entry, uh, although it does require hitting uh, the blue shift to access. And since 2008, the HP NUT was nearing its uh, end of life, and HP moved the original 12C's architecture to an ARM 7 chip, uh, running a software emulator of the HP NUT along with its original firmware. Uh, and regular 12C pluses, uh, as they are known colloquially, look identical on their front face to the original 12C, 
uh, but approximately 60 times faster than the original 12C and 10 times faster than the Platinum. Uh, and the 12C Plus I have here is uh, the special 30th anniversary edition released in 2011. Uh, that is just a 12C Plus with a special engraving uh, below each HP uh, logo. Uh, and if I run the same uh, cash flow calculation, uh, you can see that the results appear nearly instantaneously. Uh, and if I turn this uh, 12C Plus over, uh, we can see that it has um, two uh, CR2032 uh, batteries, uh, but only one is necessary to run the calculator. Uh, and the 12C Plus also has a flash port uh, for flashing new firmware. And HP released a software development kit for the 12C Plus uh, they made it technically possible to create custom operating systems, uh, although I'm not aware of any that were developed by the community. If there are, um, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and HP never advertised uh, the standard uh, 12C Plus uh, as a different model from the original, uh, but it did uh, release 40,000 of this uh, 30th anniversary edition that came in a large display box. Uh, and because it ran uh, variants of the original 12C firmware, the functions of the 12C Plus uh, are the same as the original. Uh, although I do notice that this 30th anniversary 12C Plus has the same RPN stack lift behavior as uh, the Platinum Silver. Uh, if anyone knows why, again, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, there have been three hardware revisions of the 12C Plus with successively faster ARM processors. I believe the latest version of the 12C Plus you can buy from HP's online store has a 48 MHz ARM processor uh, that should be a uh, third faster than this uh, 30th anniversary edition. And the latest revision of the 12C Platinum uh, was introduced in 2007. Uh, and this version that has the bat, uh, black back plates uh, returned to a look that was closer to the original. Uh, so the product name has been uh, moved to uh, the top left and oddly aligned slightly above the level of the display. Uh, to my eyes, this placement looks a little bit cramped. Uh, the HP logo has also uh, moved back to a, a black colour. And the uh, Hewlett Packard word mark returns below the keyboard. And the display on these Platinums are, are slightly different, uh, with the numbers on the Platinum Black uh, slightly taller. Uh, but the underlying hardware and functionality didn't change from the Platinum Silver, and it runs at the same speed, um, around six times the original. Uh, so if I hit the IRR buttons on both of these at the same time, uh, they should complete in about the same uh, time. And uh, turning this calculator over, uh, we can see that the Platinum Black uh, also uh, takes uh, two CR2023 batteries. Uh, and they run in parallel with only one required to power the calculator. And uh, having redundant battery capacity allows batteries to be swapped one by one without losing data, which is a handy feature. So in summary, the 12C has had an interesting series of variants over the years, and these have allowed the consumer uh, electronics pro uh, product from 1981 uh, to be kept relevant for 40 years without changing the basic character of the device, which is really remarkable. And uh, there are also some rarer variants I didn't talk about, such as the 12C Prestige, uh, which was a fully gold color 12C, otherwise identical to the Platinum Silver that was released only in Brazil. Uh, and there's also a rare blue and gold variant of the 12C, of which only three are known to exist. Uh, so apparently one day in 1986 at an HP factory, staff experimented with a blue dye in the mould. And I'll include a link in the show description uh, to some photos of uh, Keith Midson's collection of 12Cs that includes the blue variant, uh, which is worth checking out. Uh, 
Uh, it's probably worth mentioning that, that there are also clones of the 12C made by Swiss Micros and others. And so if you're watching this video, you might be wondering uh, which is the best version of the HP 12C. And for me, there's no clear answer. Um, both uh, the 12C Plus uh, and the Platinum Black are still in production. Uh, the 12C Plus is 10 times faster, uh, but the Platinum Black has four times as much memory and higher precision. And for many, it's going to come down to either aesthetics or preferences for RPN or algebraic entry. Uh, personally, I prefer the classic gold design. I just think the colour and simplicity of the front panels looks really beautiful, and I'm not usually a fan of gold things. Uh, and I also prefer RPN. I think if I use the algebraic entry on the Platinum Black, I get uh, frustrated because of its lack of support for order of operations, uh, but you may be different. Um, but I do find uh, the support for backspace on the Platinum Black quite handy. So I guess ultimately I'd wish for a mashup of these uh, two models. Uh, but you'll have your own views. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos.